Of late, the government has taken several measures to keep a check on food inflation. It has banned wheat exports, restricted sugar exports, allowed duty-free imports of crude, soya bean and sunflower oil, and to top it all, it has cut excise duty on petrol and diesel. After all this, if you as a consumer thought that packaged food would get cheaper, then this Manina in Jhatpat is here to tell you that you may be wrong. According to reports, consumer prices of packaged foods will continue to increase despite the recent government measures on food inflation. This is because of continuous increase in costs of packaging and not enough cost benefits on oil and industry fuel. On the other hand, some analysts have welcomed the government's decision, saying it will bring a much-needed respite to packaged food companies like Nestle and Britannia. While sugar and wheat constitute 18 to 20 percent of cost depending on product category, cost of packaging material like laminates and corrugated boxes can comprise up to 40 percent of cost of these products, industry executives have said. Industry executives have also said that they are forced to continue taking up price increases directly or indirectly. One of the country's largest makers of biscuits and snacks, Parley Products, has said that there is no respite on costs of packaging laminates and cartons because these are internationally linked and as a result of which they are being forced to continue increasing prices. Packaging costs of industrial fuel, diesel, laminates, cartons and corrugated boxes have shot up in the past six months. Indian FMCG players like Marico, Hindustan Unilever, Britannia, Dabur, Ruchi Soya, Imami, etc. have increased prices several times and products due to supply chain disruptions and the ever-increasing cost of palm oil. Raw materials like edible oils, wheat, crude oil derivatives, laminates and corrugated boxes that go into making biscuits, soap, cosmetics and detergents have been on an upswing since the second half of financial year 2021 with geopolitical factors aggravating the inflation. Now picture high prices of everything and consider that your incomes fail to keep up with this. Then you are basically making less money than before. Well, it seems that the government has heeded to the cries of India's FMCG giants, but will it pay off or not? It is something that only time will tell. Until then, consumers, you've got to buckle up. For more such interesting news updates, keep watching Money9 and subscribe to Money9 on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.